We got up before dawn just to bring you Half of the morning from downtown Boston. downtown Baltimore checking out a lot of the boats and right now we are on the, the submarine this was actually the last submarine that was that was commissioned in during the World War II this submarine actually sunk the last boat of the the war in World War II so it's gonna be a great show stay tuned Well, I'm here inside the hull of the, the sub right now. I tell you, it's, it's, it's great down here. If you look around, you've got some torpedoes, it looks like. You've got some, some things that talk about the history of the sub. And um, you have the engine room back here. Um, it's just great to be down here and experience in this part of history. All right, so follow me. This is pretty wild. Come on in here. Wow, check this out. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? You know, I'm not much of a marine person, but from the... Looks of it, this looks like control central where things happen and take place. I believe over here is the power controls for the submarine, and then you have some generator controls and things like that. Um, then we have a we have a map over here. I guess this is where they chart out their plan. Can you imagine like captains of the of the submarine planning their strategies? I mean, like they start off somewhere over here on the east coast of the United States, and they make a chart that they're going to go somewhere else. I mean, this is incredible. Just think about this. Think about the, the history and the places that this that this submarine has gone to and the people that lived here for the period of time during the Top of the Morning! Welcome to another edition of Top of the Morning. My name is Just Kumar. And we have a fantastic show for you today. Right now, as you can see, I'm actually behind the helm of the of the boat the Tanny. Okay, actually the ship, the Coast Guard ship the Tanny, built in the 1930s. We have a great show for you lined up. We're going to take a walk around. We're going to talk to some of the people that actually know this at the top of the morning. I'm Just Kumar. And I'm Lil Reed. And we have a fantastic show for you today. That's right. We are on location at NASA in Greenbelt, Maryland. That's right. The Goddard Space Center. And we're going to be going on a tour. Right. There's, there's a, the Hubble Space Mission is going on right now. Home of the Hubble Space Telescope. That's right. So there's been a lot of activity. And we're going to go. We're going to take a tour and see what's going on see how they go ahead and test the components and how they went ahead and prepared actually for this last mission that they're on right now. Yeah, it's fascinating. And if you don't like science, I think you'll change your mind after you see this show. That's right. science is cool. Science is very cool. So stay tuned, right? Stay tuned. We have a great show for you. We'll be right back. Alright, we're here with Ed Campion, NASA spokesperson. How are you doing, Ed? Good. So we're over here. This is the, the Hubble Space Shuttle, huh? It is. It's the Hubble Space Telescope that's Space in, telescope. in orbit uh, right now. Uh -huh. The uh, crew aboard uh, Atlantis just finished a very successful mission uh, refurbishing and uh, renewing the telescope. Uh, they basically had two main purposes when they went up. One was to extend Hubble's operating life by putting new thermal blankets on, new batteries, new gyroscopes. Uh, just to extend the day-to-day -day operating life. They also repaired two instruments that were no longer working and put new science instruments in, which vastly increased Hubble's operating capability. So we've essentially extended Hubble's life for at least another five to ten years, and we've basically taken a four-meg digital camera and made it a 16-meg digital camera. Wow, so it's four times the strength now. It is. It's, an, it's, an, it's an incredible uh, op observatory already, but it's going to be even more magnificent in the future. <laughs> Station 
Station one, check. 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 Right. Station two, check. Check. Engines, boost. Where's the engine? Right here. Those of you going through all this school, you don't even know where the engines are. How are we ever going to fly this thing? All right, yep. Click those switches. All right, let's push some switches here. What, what switches are you flicking here? Turn some knobs. No, turn on the engines right now, okay? okay. Here's how you turn on the engines. This one right here. This one right here, this one down here. Switch that a little bit to the left, turn that to the right. Good job, Jess, you're the Thank airline you. pilot. Well, this is a little bit different than, a, than an airplane. You know, it's a spaceship, but it looks cool. All right, welcome back. Well, now we have with us, as promised, Bernice Armour, the first African-American combat pilot in U.S. military history. Bernice, it's such an honor to have you on our show. Thank you. I have to throw female in there, because there'll probably be a lot of Tuskegee Airmen <laughs> upset with me. That's but right. But it's been an interesting journey. Yeah, Is that great. fantastic or what? I tell you what, this has been an incredible afternoon here, touring the Taney, talking with Patrick Acquia learning so much about the history of this this great ship. So I appreciate you staying tuned. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll see you later. All right, now wasn't that fantastic? That was incredible. I mean, we got to see the submarine walk down. I mean, that was that was big inside. It was a lot bigger than I was ever imagining. We saw all the the old technology and the way that they used to operate the the. the the submarine and we saw where, where all the sailors used to sleep and everything. We saw the quarters and it was just really a fantastic show. Well anyways, that was great. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Top of the Moon. And uh, Goddard has a visitor center here. It's uh, just outside the security fence so there's no special access required but literally we have all sorts of exhibits and presentations there. We've got a very unique uh, system called the Science on a Sphere uh, that you really should check out. It, it literally creates a three-dimensional presentation of all our science efforts and everybody finds it just a really cool experience. And it's, it's awesome. open to the public, right? It's open to the public. Uh, we're closed on Mondays but uh, basically Tuesday through Friday and Saturday and Sunday come on down and, and see your space program in action. That's, That's awesome. right. So next time you're in the area, come on down. That's right. Come on down. See the Hubble. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. This has been another episode of Top of the Morning, and we'll see you next time. See you next time. see these guys. See them live. You know, it's one thing to see them on TV. It's another thing to see them live. Go to their website, smoothtees.com, and you'll get all the information about your schedule. All right? Thanks all again. You all are fantastic. Thank you. All right? Boo, 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 Join us next time on the Top of the Morning. I'm Just Kumar. And I'm Lil Bree. Have a great time.